Hey guys, we're going to be doing a quick little install manual on our uh, bell housing cover um, today. Really simple part and uh, prevents some unnecessary cleanup down the road uh, and also reduces the chance of any anything big falling in here. I wanted to start off by showing you how easy it is that this little rubber guy can uh, fall into the bell housing cover or just pop out in general. Um, it's, a, it's a problem in, in pretty much most of the FA20s that, that see any kind of heat. So turboing your car, tracking your car, uh, driving it aggressively, um, you'll start to see issues with this. It, it gets brittle and it, it'll break down over time. So basically if you just wiggle it, it comes off like that easy. It, it's not even difficult. Um, putting it in is more difficult. But if you just see how easy it goes and then it can fall down into the bell housing and uh, then you're stuck with cleaning up a mess in your clutch. Um, let's move on to the install. You really only need uh, three things for this install, a 12 millimeter, a ratchet, and a 14 millimeter. In most cases, you probably won't have the intake manifold off. Um, the install is just a little bit more difficult um, with things in the way, but with this engine blown up from too much power, uh, um, we can uh, do it a little bit easier for you to view and uh, see how easy it really is. So it'll be this 12 and this 14. Just uh, loosen them, remove them. Leave the um, ground as it is, and you place the cover on top. 12 goes in through the ground again, and 14 goes in through the engine hoist um, loop, I guess, bracket. Tighten the two bolts. And you're done. Uh, if you want torque specs, uh, we'd recommend 16 to 18 for the 14 mil and uh, somewhere between 10 and 12 for the 12. Um, they don't need to be slammed down, uh, just snug, you're good to go.